What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to share my thoughts and predictions on this year's WrestleMania. WrestleMania 35 is just less than a week away. There's still one Raw and one SmackDown before the pay-per-view, so some of these matches may change. But, like usual, I have all of the matches right in front of me. Let's get right into this. So we're going to start off with the Women's Battle Royale match. So I'm basically just going to be picking two females that I think should win this match. And that will push them in the future to bigger and better things. Maybe championship matches and stuff like that. So the two that I've picked for this match are number one, Nikki Cross. I think since she is just coming up from NXT now, I like everything about her. I think she is amazing. So if she were to win this match, it wouldn't surprise me. And the other is Ruby Riot. Basically, I think that because all members of the Riot Squad are in this match. I think if they all band together and help Ruby win, I think that's something that we can see happen, and then Ruby would get another opportunity for the Raw Women's Championship in the future. So these are my predictions for the Women's Battle Royale. Next is the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royale, and I'm basically going to do the same thing, just pick two people that I think should win, and that will push them in the future. So number one is Ali, and I think it's pretty amazing. It sucks that he was uh, injured right before Elimination Chamber because of the hype that he got to get into the Chamber match. I thought was amazing. I thought he would definitely had a strong showing in that match. But because he is injured, uh, he, was, he had to uh, miss that match. So the fact that he's not injured anymore, I really hope that he's in this match. And I would really like to see him win. That'd be very awesome, not only for a Cruiserweight to win this type of match, but just for him in general, because that will keep boosting his hype. A lot of people think that because after he got his shot for the World Championship, he then got injured, that he's not going to get one again. If he were to win this match, I could see that happening. The other one is Jinder Mahal. I know Jinder Mahal has been going downhill since going to Raw, but I think if he were to win this match, he might start going in the right direction, and they might give him bigger pushes in the future. So these are my predictions for the uh, Battle Royales for WrestleMania. Next is the Intercontinental Championship match. We have Bobby Lashley versus Finn Balor. Bobby Lashley now is a two-time Intercontinental Champion. Finn Balor beat him and then ended up losing again. This match here, I'm just going to go with my gut on who I think is going to win. And that is going to be Bobby Lashley. I've always been a fan of Bobby Lashley and I really like that he is the champion. I would have preferred him to face Brock Lesnar for the Universal Championship. I think that would have been a lot more special. Uh, but the fact that he's a champion, the Intercontinental Champion, I like that too. I think Finn Balor might have a good show in this match, but I would like to see Bobby Lashley retain. That was my final prediction. Next is the Cruiserweight Championship match, Buddy, vers Buddy Murphy versus Tony Nese. This match here, I don't know a lot about Tony Nese, but I do like him. I, I think he is very strong, and I think... If he were to win it at WrestleMania, that would be a good showing. That would be him basically proving that he can do it. So my prediction for this match is going to be Tony Nese. That's my final prediction. Next is Kurt Angle versus Baron Corbin. This is Kurt Angle's farewell match. A lot of people hated when Baron Corbin was selected to face Kurt Angle. It is rumored that it is going to be John Cena and it will be shown before WrestleMania. But this is the match as of right now. So in my opinion... Baron Corbin facing Kurt Angle I think is awesome and I think that will push him in the future because since he went to Raw and he became general manager he kind of went downhill and kind of got stale and stayed at one position but by him having a match against Kurt Angle at WrestleMania I think that will push him in the future and I think that's why they decided to do that instead of having John Cena somebody that's already proved himself in the WWE having Baron Corbin try to prove himself once again would be awesome but it's Kurt Angle. I think the final match, the final outcome of this match, my final prediction is going to be Kurt Angle because that makes the most sense. It would suck for Kurt Angle to lose to Baron Corbin at WrestleMania. So my final prediction is Kurt Angle is going to win. Next is the United States Championship match. Samoa Joe versus Rey Mysterio. This is going to be a exciting match. Uh, on one hand, we have Samoa Joe, the submission machine. I think he's going to dominate this match, but it's against Rey Mysterio, which is a cruiserweight, somebody that is smaller than him. So I think if Samoa Joe were to catch Rey Mysterio, I think it might be over really quick. I think Samoa Joe might just make Rey Mysterio tap out instantly. But given Rey Mysterio's speed, I think that Rey Mysterio possibly could win this match. 
My final prediction for this match is going to be Rey Mysterio, just because I would like to see him have a championship around his waist, something he hasn't done since he came back to the WWE. So I think that'd be awesome for him to finally win the championship, but it's very possible that Samoa Joe could retain, but my final prediction is going to be Rey Mysterio. Next is going to be AJ Styles versus Randy Orton. This match is going to be very interesting. I think it has a lot going for it. My final prediction for this match is going to be pretty simple. AJ Styles. That's because I've always been a fan of AJ Styles even before he came to the WWE. And after he came to the WWE, I was a huge fan of him even more. Randy Orton, I don't like his current gimmick. I don't like that he is heel. To me, I like him better as a face. I just don't like the route he's going right now. So my final prediction is AJ Styles. Next is the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship match. It is a, fo a fatal four-way tag team championship match. Bailey and Sasha Banks, the current champions, versus Beth, Phoenix, and Natalia, which at first I think it was supposed to be just a normal tag team match between the two of them. And the fact that Beth Phoenix is coming back to the WWE, getting out of retirement for this match, is pretty awesome. I'm a huge fan of that. But they're also now facing the Iconics and Nia Jax and Tamina. So this match here has a lot going for it. Of course, the Iconics, I'm a fan of them as well. But Nia Jax and Tamina, they're a bigger and stronger tag team. But for this match here, my final prediction is going to be Beth Phoenix and Natalia are going to win. I think to have, in my opinion, two legends become the women's tag team champions, I think would prove themselves that they were everything and then some. So... That's my final prediction for this match is that Beth Phoenix and Natalia are going to win. It's going to be an interesting match. In my opinion, I wouldn't care who were to win this match. I think it's going to be an amazing match, so I don't care who really comes out as champion. But my final prediction is going to be Beth Phoenix and Natalia. Next up is Roman Reigns versus Drew McIntyre. This is a odd match. A lot of people didn't expect this was going to happen, especially at WrestleMania. On one hand, Roman Reigns came back from leukemia, and now he's going to be competing at WrestleMania, which is awesome. But he's going to be facing Drew McIntyre, which I am a fan of Drew McIntyre. I love his heel gimmick right now. I love everything he's about. A lot of people hate him, especially facing Roman Reigns. To me, it is possible that Roman Reigns is going to win this match because coming back from his over six months of dealing with leukemia, returning, having a match at WrestleMania, I think it would make sense to have him win to boost him even more in the WWE. But my final prediction for this match is going to be Drew McIntyre. Next is Shane McMahon versus The Miz. I am a fan of The Miz. I always have been. Whether he is heel, face, it doesn't matter to me. I love everything about The Miz. I think his character is awesome, pun intended. But he's facing Shane McMahon, and they were recent SmackDown Tag Team Champions. But then something clicked in Shane McMahon, and he decided to attack The Miz. And it was in uh, Cleveland, The Miz's hometown, and he even put his hands on The Miz's father. So... This match is now a Falls Count Anywhere match, which I think is awesome. In my opinion, WrestleMania especially should have more than just one-on-one -on -one matches. It should have Falls Count Anywhere, No Holds Barred, different things like that. Maybe Extreme Rules to make it more extreme. But this match here, Falls Count Anywhere, I'm going to say The Miz. Because if The Miz were to win, that will push him in the future to better matches in the WWE. Maybe a World Championship match once again. I think that would be very awesome to see. So, final prediction is that The Miz is going to win. Next up is the Triple H versus Batista match. This one is a no-holds-barred. If Triple H loses, he will uh, pretty much end his career, pretty much. So, that is what Batista wanted. That's one of the stipulations. So, to me, the fact that they returned Batista as heel... When in the Marvel Universe and outside of WWE, he's a huge face. Everybody loves him. To be once again a heel in the WWE for this match didn't make sense to me. I do understand because he is heel, it is very likely that Triple H is going to win. Because Triple H has never beaten Batista one-on-one. -on -one, so I think that's why they did it. Just so they could have Triple H beat Batista. Because for the longest time, Triple H has been a heel. A lot of people in the WWE Universe hated him. But to do it like this and have Batista the bigger heel now, I think that's why they decided to do it. But nonetheless, my final prediction for this match is Batista. I'm a huge fan of Batista. I think that he deserves a win at WrestleMania. He wanted to come back for a match. So this match would be awesome for him to win. I'm a huge fan of him. And that's my final prediction for this match. Next is the Universal Championship match. Brock Lesnar versus Seth Rollins. 
This match here is going to be very intense, I have a feeling. On one hand, Brock Lesnar could go suplex city on Seth Rollins. On the other hand, I think the King Slayer might do a lot more than we were... Uh, expect him to do. I think he has some tricks up his sleeve. I think he has plans for this match. And my final prediction is Seth Rollins, mainly because <clears throat> I feel that the Universal Championship should be defended or at least shown every week on Raw. They should be the champion should be appearing every week on Raw, not just hyping up a match at WrestleMania. So the fact that Brock Lesnar is barely ever there. Barely ever defends. It's only once every couple pay-per-views that he defends it. It should be defended every pay-per-view, in my opinion. Especially since it is a major title. So this match here, I really hope Seth Rollins were to win. Because Seth Rollins would actually be able to represent Raw better than Brock Lesnar is. So that is why I'm choosing Seth Rollins for this match. Next is the match that a lot of people didn't expect was going to happen. And that is the WWE Champion Daniel Bryan versus Kofi Kingston. Kofi Kingston's been in the WWE for 11 years, never really had opportunities for the WWE Championship until late. It would be very interesting to see him win the WWE Championship. I am not a fan of Daniel Bryan, especially Daniel Bryan's new gimmick right now where he's a complete ass, he's a heel. I don't like that. I didn't like that he was returning from retirement. It was very interesting, but the fact that they made him heel right away and then they started to give him opportunities for the WWE Championship, I was not a fan of. I think there was more people deserving of it before him, and I just didn't like them doing it. So my final prediction for this match is Kofi Kingston. I think possibly the New Day is going to help Kofi Kingston win this match. I would honestly love to see that if the New Day were to interfere, costing Daniel Bryan his championship and Kofi Kingston winning. I think that is something that we are likely going to see, and I really hope it does come true. On the other hand, some people are thinking that in this match, the New Day, uh, Xavier Woods and Big E are going to cost Kofi Kingston the match. So it's going to be interesting to see what actually happens. But my final prediction is still going to be Kofi Kingston. And the final match here is the Raw Women's Championship match. It is the main event, which is awesome that a women's match is the main event, especially at WrestleMania. And it is the champion, Ronda Rousey, versus the Royal Rumble winner, Becky Lynch, versus Charlotte Flair, who has recently won the SmackDown Championship. So this match here, triple threat match, as of right now, it's only for the Raw Women's Championship, but the rumor is it's going to be for both Raw and SmackDown Women's Championship. We shall see. But I'm just going to go off of it just being the Raw Women's Championship. So this match here, my prediction is going to be Becky Lynch. Honestly, this match I would have preferred one-on-one -on -one Becky Lynch versus Ronda Rousey because we did not get to see that at Survivor Series. But it does make sense because Ronda Rousey, I don't think, has defended the championship in a triple threat match yet. So I think that's why they did it. But to just have Becky Lynch makes sense because she won the Royal Rumble. But to just throw Charlotte in from SmackDown into the Raw Women's Championship match didn't make sense to me. So this match here, Becky Lynch is my prediction. I could see... Becky Lynch winning this match, and then I could also see Sasha Banks and Bayley retain the Women's Championship. Charlotte is the SmackDown Women's Champion, so if that were to all happen, everybody uh, that I just mentioned were to win the championships and hold the championships, I could see at the end of WrestleMania, the four horsewomen come out and hold their championships high. I think that's something that would be interesting to see, but I did predict Beth Phoenix and Natalya were to win the uh, Women's Tag Team Championship, which is something I hope happens. But uh, also I could see Charlotte winning this match. And then that's the rumor right now that Charlotte's going to win this match. And they're going to eventually unify the Raw Women's Championship and the SmackDown Women's Championship. Which I really hope doesn't happen because the Women's Division, SmackDown has their own, Raw has their own. They are amazing right now. And I hope they keep them separate. But something tells me they're not going to. But my final prediction for this match is for Becky Lynch. I think she would prove a lot more if she were to win this match. So I hope it happens. So these are the predictions as of right now for the matches for WrestleMania 35. This is a longer video than I'm used to. But that is because this year's WrestleMania has a lot more matches than usual. This year's WrestleMania is rumored to be 6 to 7.5 hours. So... That is a long event. That is a long time if you were to actually go to the event to be standing or sitting in your seats or just to be there in general. 
And I think nearing the end of the pay-per-view, you'd be pretty exhausted, especially regardless of if you went to the event or you're sitting at home watching the event. If I know me, if I'm going to watch the event, I'm not going to watch it all in one sitting. I'm just going to sp spread it out over a week or so, just because that's a long time to just watch WWE in one sitting. So comment down below what you guys think of WrestleMania 35. Do you like that it is a long pay-per-view? Do you like a lot of the matches? Comment down below what your predictions are for all of the matches. If you guys want to do so, I want to hear what you guys think anyways. But I'm going to leave this video here. I'm pretty excited for WrestleMania 35. A lot of the matches are awesome. I just feel like they have way too many matches for one event. So that's just me, but I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.